Hi, welcome to this channel on Magnetic Energy Technology Principles Applications. This video is about neutral magnetic pulses and cold plasma alchemy. These topics are intertwined intimately, that's why I'm connecting them. This is highly unconventional information, of course, and it's just a quick view into some of the research that's being done around the world that could have huge benefits for humanity. And, you know, <laughs> no matter how many times I tell researchers, they'll continue to ignore me. And, and it's okay because they're, they're locked into the electrical paradigm and I get it, you know, I mean, we come from the same background and so it's, it's hard to break through, through that paradigm. But let me just say this, you cannot directly generate neutral magnetic pulses or produce neutral cold, cold plasma fields with electrical based technology. So let's just get that out of the way because that's the first thing that people are going to ask is, you know, can you do it with a, a generator and all these things? No, you can't. So you can't use electrical technology directly to do it. So neutral magnetic pulses are fundamental to the etheric magnetic model and basically to the future of energy. Uh, the neutral magnetic pulses, the in size, strength, speed, core structure, and coding. Scientists may be tempted to call a neutral magnetic pulse like a fundamental particle, but that would be a terrible mistake and it could greatly stifle future research. So I hope they resist that because you've got to think in terms of there's no limit to the encoding and how deep it goes. Also, a debate is likely to arise between the idea that neutral magnetic pulses are actually moving through space and time versus the idea that they are just causing a etheric like field reaction. As far as we know, it appears that a bit of both of those things are happening and it depends on the medium through which the neutral magnetic pulses are traveling and it depends on the manner in which they're generated. And so it appears that yes, that it is like a perturbation in the etheric field, but then there's also appears to be like a movement of something that's very specifically resonating like and moving through a medium depending on that medium. So maybe there's a bit of both going on and we don't really know the answer to that yet. So a neutral magnetic pulse, to put it simply, it's just an energy grouping of subatomic toruses that have relatively equal inflow and outflow fields. So we're talking like an, you know, basically like an equilateral torus, but we're the subatomic. So it's a grouping of those subatomic uh, toruses, if you want to call them that. Now, electricity simply cannot provide the fundamental equilateral toruses required to attract etheric energy and help form the the neutral magnetic pulses and hence the and also the cold plasma field so it that's part of the problem is electrons electrons if they even exist the way we think they do conventionally um they just don't have the ability to form those types of toruses that we need to do this work so we achieve the manifestation of neutral magnetic pulses through etheric extraction using either a blended or balanced magnetic fields that I've talked about a million times. Uh, also, you could do it through balanced elemental ratios, through balanced geometric structures, all kinds of geometric structures, as long as the balance and the focus of those comes together that so it's really about balancing the the input and the output of these types of things and even through balanced biological energy fields so it's really i mean is there's a lot of ways to produce neutral magnetic pulses and so that's that's part of the research and that's the exploration of this is all these different methodologies Normally, it's not enough to simply attract the etheric energy. We need to house it in something like coils so that we allow the polarities to combine and allow for the extraction and then the attraction of the neutral magnetic pulses. Now, with advancements in technology, we'll definitely figure out how to instantly harness the neutral magnetic pulses and eliminate as many steps as possible and have it be extremely efficient. Um, so their neutral magnetic pulses are capable of moving through any medium, including matter. Uh, they're capable of utilizing a conductor, typically like a ferromagnetic conductor, uh, especially if you're supporting like isolated reactions in them. When offered to jump, a gap to jump, the neutral magnetic pulse is capable of changing resonant polarities, speed, power, elemental signatures, etc. Uh, they are capable of combining into what we would call a magnetron pulse, which is just a very potent collection of neutral magnetic pulses. Uh, the neutral magnetic pulses are always encoded to some degree, giving them tremendous versatility to interact with different elements and to be attracted beyond space and time, which is huge. 
uh, because the neutral magnetic pulses are so elusive and they move so fast, the goal is to establish a flow of them so that we can harness the flow to do the work. Neutral magnetic pulses create the cold plasma field. So let me just clear that up. So a basic method for, for generating these is to feed neutral magnetic pulses to a reaction point through attraction and pressure and allow them to naturally coalesce. Now the composition of what we might call the electrodes or like the final point contacts before they jump the gaps is very critical to establishing like the elemental signatures. So for example, neutral magnetic pulses fed through a copper coated steel wire to a gold electrode, like let's say you're feeding that down to a wire, okay? And then, then you have the opposing electrode that has a gap that's adjustable. So if you have a gold electrode on one side and then you have a gold electrode on the other side of the gap, you basically create a gold resonance signature in the neutral magnetic pulses. Now this is very important because you can change those electrodes and change those signatures, those elemental signatures, and that becomes hugely important for different types of research. So as the neutral magnetic pulse pressure increases and the gap widens, as you widen the gap, the cold plasma field will begin to build. So you've got pressure and you've got it being attracted to jump that gap. So you're gonna to start to build that cold plasma field. As the cold plasma field builds, it will automatically form into a torus energy field that will manifest with counter rotating fields, like toroidal fields. The cold plasma field is this is a room temperature reaction, and it's fully capable of interacting with biological life, which is really important for future research. The temperature can be modified by increasing or decreasing the neutral magnetic pulse rate, but it's absolutely a mistake to think that more heat is necessary to perform alchemical reactions and a whole, whole host of other things. Please, if you're doing this, if you're doing this in a lab, and I know different people watch this, don't get trapped in the heat world because more heat doesn't necessarily do anything for you. In fact, in a lot of ways, it's very counterproductive to the reactions that you want to take place, especially when you get up to, into like the thousands of degrees. Uh, the, so the, the cold plasma torus can become self-sustaining at the correct pulse rate by creating its own etheric draw. So they can become self-sustaining or they can be sustained using a device for like continuous pulse modulation, which, which allows for like all the experiments to take place and everything. The alchemical component of the neutral magnetic pulsing and the cold plasma field lies in the elemental pulse matching, which allows the output of the torus to redefine molecular structures according to the cold plasma field pulse. So we are basically, we are modulating the pulse rate of the cold plasma field torus and the counter-rotating counter toruses to mimic the pulse rates of various elements. That allows an interaction to take place. This process unlocks alchemical processes rendering some of the current laws of physics obsolete. And so we are unlocking molecular structures. And then we can combine and separate molecular structures in a safe nuclear room temperature reaction that it's, it not only offers unlimited power, but it assists, it will assist humanity in harnessing resources without the need for mining. And that's, that's really just the beginning. That's the tip of the iceberg for what this type of research will do and the doors that it will open. And so I just wanted to give a quick video on like what's going on so you get a glimpse of what people are working on around the world and cold plasma technology, neutral cold plasma technology that is embedded with elemental signatures and with encoding. And then you have the neutral magnetic pulsing that basically is the foundation of all of that. And it flows in and out in this incredible geometric pattern. So please send in any questions that you have and I will I'll see you again. Thank you.